Target, y'all. Zara is not feeling too hot, so we gotta grab her a few things. I think she might also have um, a slight fever. She doesn't feel like super hot, but definitely warmer than usual. We're gonna grab her some Tylenol as well to help with like her fever if she has one. So yeah, we're grabbing her some medicine right now. I think instead of Tylenol, I'm gonna grab her some Motrin. That usually works better for my kids for some reason, so. She also says she wants some apple juice. She wants to throw apple juice. So let's go and grab you some apple juice. Where's the juice? Soda juice, okay. Okay, grab you some apple juice. This one? Oh, oh. no, this one is for little babies. It doesn't taste very good. This is not much taste good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one. Okay. What else do you want? You want to get a snack? Mm -hmm. What kind of snack do you feel like? Mm -hmm. I want chips. You want to go to the chip aisle? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey y'all, from your favorite egg. I finally charged my Apple Watch, so it'd be throwing me off when it'd be making little sounds. But anyway, hey y'all, I haven't talked to y'all in a hot minute. And life has just been very busy. Not anything crazy, all good thing. The girls have been having a lot of school stuff going on. Mila is back in soccer officially. You guys actually never got to see her play soccer because I don't think I was vlogging for that whole span of time. But she played soccer in the fall of last year, so she's doing her spring soccer now. I'm excited for her to be back into something that keeps her, you know, active zara is better i think i told you guys that she was sick the last time we talked my baby ended up having strep throat honestly that was my sign my last straw if you will that i'm definitely going to find us some vitamins to invest in and get so please to all my mamas out there or even if you're not a mom if you know of good vitamins for kids to take please let me know i'm i've heard of the mary ruth like liquid vitamin the only problem with that is Zara does not like taking liquid medicine. And so I really would prefer not to have to hassle her every day to take her vitamin. But I also know that like vitamins and gummy forms are not the most potent. So whatever the vitamin may be in whatever form, if y'all have any recommendations or stuff that y'all give y'all kids, please let me know because I'm definitely trying to get them on a vitamin. They used to be on the Ollie, Ollie gummies, I think that's what it's called. A long time ago I don't know why I stopped giving them them they were just like a, a daily vitamin I also definitely want them on elderberry I'm pretty sure just to keep their immune system strong especially while they're going to school kids be nasty the seasons are changing it's just a lot going on and I really do not want them to get sick anytime soon so that's just the rundown of the rundown I'm actually sitting out here waiting to go into my lash appointment I just came from my nail appointment. I did not really intend on my appointments to be stacked the way that they are, but that's just how it ended up working out. And so I'm just gonna knock both of them out. I kind of have to also while the kids are not with me because I don't really get free time like that on the weekend unless they go somewhere else, which is not a regular occurrence. So I got my nails done. I got a very simple set. It's like this milky pink. Y'all probably can't even see it, but oh shit. It's like this milky pink color. I was so over the red, y'all. I was getting nauseous every time I was looking at it. And I was so ready for just something regular, some something simple. And so this is what we ended up with. I really wanna go to Best Buy and look at this camera that I have been stalking nonstop since like the last couple of weeks and kind of see if it's really what I'm looking for and wanting in my next camera. I went back and looked at my videos, they're archived so you guys can't see them. But I got this camera in 2020. I thought it was like 2021, 2020, no. I got this camera in 2020, not to say like it's old just because of that or not to say I'm just trying to get a new camera because of how long I've had it. But I think it's that's a decent time to outgrow a piece of technology, especially a camera when I'm wanting certain things to be certain quality I just I feel like it's time for something new 
so yeah i don't know hopefully later we'll have time to go to best buy and then you guys will get to see like what camera i'm talking about but i've been watching so many videos on it and watching like video tests and vlogging tests and i really think i want to go and look at it and make sure it's something that i would actually want because it's one thing to watch something on youtube versus actually having it so if I end up going to do that, whenever I do, I will take you guys along with me. I'm so happy today is Friday. I'm so ready for the weekend, even though I feel like you blink and it's over. But the weather is finally back nice. It was pouring rain yesterday, so we can get outside. Like I said, Mila has our soccer game. I'm so... I just love this like season of life that I'm in with my kids being able to be in sports and get to be outside. I get to have my little chair, that little drink, my little snack screaming at the team it's just yes i love this era of motherhood it's so fun i'll probably talk to you guys later i don't know if i'll record in here at all because i've never been to this particular studio so we will see but yeah at some point i will talk to you guys later i don't know how well y'all can see me y'all are literally stuck down off into our dirty clothes hamper but ugh, i wanted to show y'all these fragrances because they are so good they're the finery fragrances and i got two of them now that they're finally available online i'm pretty sure i told you guys about these in my last vlog because i got a little sample set but they finally had these online so i was able to place a target pickup for them and baby the girls are buying them because i bought the last one of each scent at my target so if y'all are interested i would definitely say run and go get them because clearly they're being purchased so this one is my favorite out of all of them this is the pistachio please of the finery scent and this is supposed to be um similar to the sol de janeiro it smells just freaking like it okay and i also want to say i keep buying these because i get complimented on these scents by this line every time i wear them i just got complimented this morning when i was at the store with the girls letting them pick out stuff or whatever and the cashier was like what are you wearing what is it and so i had to put her on and every time i go to work i get compliments like no matter which one of the finery scents i'm wearing so definitely try them out i feel like they last pretty well for a body mist and they are actually like very i don't know how to explain scents but they're very deep scents to be a body spray usually body mists or sprays don't really last that long but i will still smell these when i take my clothes off and um i sometimes will reapply throughout the day I sometimes won't it just depends on what i'm doing but i feel like these are perfect to have in your purse in your car or just you know if you do have a more expensive fragrance that you don't want to carry around with you you could find the dupe to it and just take one of these around so anyway this one is my favorite this is like i said supposed to be a dupe for the soul de janeiro smells so freaking good and then this one is called the new rouge and this is supposed to be a dupe for baccarat i would say this is a little bit sweeter than baccarat and obviously it's going to be significantly less like pungent if you smell baccarat you could smell it from a mile away this is like baccarat's little sister but it still smells really good but yeah i got these two adding these two to my collection i smelled a couple more when i was in the store but none of the other ones i'm interested in i might get the i'm a musk one which is supposed to be a dupe for i think the santal one or i don't know what that's supposed to be a dupe for but I have this one this is supposed to be a dupe for the tom ford lost cherry the girls really like this one too so we've put a pretty big dent in it y'all probably can't see but we use this one pretty regularly i feel like this is just a good everyday scent i've gotten so many comp this is what i had on this morning actually got so many compliments on this one and then this one i love i feel like this is very like i won't say niche but you either gonna like this one or not if you don't like santal you're not gonna like this one this one's called jungle santal it smells so freaking good this is definitely my second personal favorite after the pistachio please so yeah as y'all can see i got me a little collection going and i love these i love these real bad so if you have not checked out finery or you want to go smell it definitely recommend highly recommend go check these out um they're 15 dollars each i'm pretty sure 15 or 16 bucks each which is really good for what you're getting and kind of like having a dupe for a more expensive brand especially this sol de janeiro one this one's spot on this is definitely my favorite and then close second is this one and then i'd say it's a tie between these two initially when i first tried this one on it gave me a headache but i've worn it since then or the sample and um 
I think it was just a fluke. It didn't really give me a headache. So then has got practice and we're probably gonna have to jet as soon as she gets home because it's about 30 minutes away from where we live at. Um so we're gonna have to get on the road. I'm not that worried if we're late anymore because so many of her little teammates be late. And I be trying to really get her there. So if we're a few minutes late, it's Friday. I'm tired of stressing about getting everybody where they need to be all week. So I'm gonna take me a little break from that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog while we're there or not, but worst case scenario, I'll talk to you guys after her practice when we go run our errands wherever we end up going good so. morning happy saturday it's mila's game day today and i'm up early ish it's 7 30 and her game isn't isn't until 10 o'clock but i really wanted to go get some coffee i was actually up because i needed to put her clothes like her uniform well part of her uniform in the dryer so that it could be dry because i washed it last night and fell asleep before it was done um so yeah, I'm about to go get some coffee and some donuts for the kids. I think I might also grab my sister a matcha because she likes the matchas at Dunkin'. So nobody is up except for Mila. So yeah, she has her game today. I'm really excited. I do have to find where the chair is that I usually take with me. They do have bleachers there though. So if I can't find it, then I will just sit on the bleachers, I guess. I think my mom also might have an extra chair, so. I'm trying to let my car warm up because I'm not good at that. I will hop in and just drive off. So I'm trying to start letting it warm up a little bit. But I also wanted to hurry and come back before the kids wake up and start, I don't know. But I figured donuts would be the easiest thing for them to eat this morning. So we don't have to worry about like cooking breakfast and stuff. And we can just give them donuts. Bag secured. If I was a responsible adult. Oh, sorry y'all. If I was a responsible adult, I would stop and get gas right now. But I know for a fact none of these gas stations over here, oh my God. I know none of them take Apple Pay. Quick Trip needs to step their game up because that's why I will always go to racetrack over Quick Trip because they take Apple Pay at the pump. Quick Trip does not. Y'all need to update y'all's pumps. I don't know if it's all Quick Trips, but this one right here don't have Apple Pay at the pump. Oh my God, sorry y'all. They're gonna stay on. Y'all stay hating on me. Okay, Dark, we're gonna, gonna do. Her old yesterday. We're gonna do motion mix with yeah. sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, using the lotion with it helps it rub in a lot better. Can you be still? I don't need you to move your head all around. Okay, let's put some on your arms. I have to close my eyes, but I'm just the whole time. You ready? And quit stealing my gum out of my purse. <laughs> I just found it. Just no, found you it. didn't find it. It wasn't long. <laughs> Move. Mila, you ready? You ready to go warm up? Got on your new cleats? Let me see them, girl. You look so cute, my girl. You ready? Yes. You gonna win? Yeah. Okay. We just got back from Mila's soccer game. Her team lost, I think, by one point. Yeah, by one. By one point. So they did really good. It was a good first game, especially kind of after watching how their practices was going. We did way better than I thought they was going to do. So and my baby did so good, and 
now she's just kind of resting a little bit i do want to go run some errands the weather is really really nice today so and my mom won't let me wear shorts because it's not our girl it's not giving shorts but anywho um Reference yeah um, your who? Can I put on my t-shirt on? Your what? But yeah, like I was saying, the weather's really nice. It was such a beautiful day for them to be outside playing soccer. The vibes were good. And yeah, um, I think I want to go take Mila to get And then, um, after that, I think I want to go look at the camera, you guys. Because I've been thinking about it non-stop. And I really want to go lay eyes on it i feel like today would be a really good day to do that we have plans um around three o'clock we're gonna do like a cookout food all that and really enjoy the nice weather so my dad is gonna grill so make sure you put your cleats where you can find them okay she's giving me all the attitude today y'all so just keep me in your in your prayers okay I don't know. I'm in like in a really weird mood and I'm trying to just like push through and be outside in the nice weather with my kids. But like I know what it is, but I just I don't really want to talk about it. So I'm just kind of like little things are kind of bothering me and I'm trying to just I don't know, not be bothered by them, I guess. Y'all, y'all, if you get it, you get it. You know how it is. So anyway, that's pretty much the plan as of right now. I think I need to get something to drink because I'm so thirsty. I meant to get some liquid IV when I was at Target the other day because I really need to catch up on my water intake because I've not been doing good at all. Mila, it sounds like you still have your cleats on, dude. No, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you if you can help me. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Let me help her change out of all her stuff and then I'll come back to y'all. We're at Best Buy, you guys, and she's actually gonna look for the camera because it's not displayed here. Um, so I do see the older version of the camera that I want to get. So if they don't have the other one, then I'll get this one. So we have it in the back. Okay, they have a lot of different cameras here. I'll show you guys what they kind of have. Um, but the one I want is not even. Don't even have a sign for it. This is. I don't even know. I have. Um, this was not even like a camera that's on my radar. This is some kind of Canon. This is the camera that I have now, or one of the models. Yeah. This is the exact camera that I have. This is the Mark III. A very nice camera. Mine is definitely a lot more beat up. But yeah, this is the camera that I'm filming with right now and that I've made all my videos with for the most part. Really good camera. I will say that the hinge screen. These screws come out so easily, so be mindful if you ever think about getting this camera that you're probably gonna have to replace the screws a lot. As we speak, mine needs more screws. <laughs> Just cause you're always flipping this, so I feel like they should put better screws, like even this one. Oh no, that one's pretty tight. But let me show y'all. It has like a screw, if y'all can even see, a screw here, screws there, and then screws there, and then I've never had issues with these screws up here, but it's always down here. They also have the ZV-1 here as well. I'm actually gonna get, or try to get the ZV-E-10. So, hopefully she has it. If not, then we'll end up probably getting this one. And it's coming up to seven twelve. so like an $87. Okay. And then do you have a good phone number with this? Uh, I don't know if I have an account, but I should grab an SD card too. How big of one do you need? Um, Maybe 128 if you have it. Are you going to be doing a video on here? Yeah. Where's she going? Get an SD card for me. Yes, we're going to leave. We, this was very quick. I'm glad they had it. And then we can leave. Thank you. You too.
I'm filming on the new camera right now and I've just been playing around with it for a little bit before I kind of I guess give y'all my thoughts on it we're at McDonald's getting some breakfast I really did not want to come and buy breakfast but the alternative was going to the store because we need a grocery shop and I didn't feel like doing that either. So we have McDonald's because the girls just had donuts yesterday and nothing else sounded good. Well really, what always sounds good on Sundays is Chick-fil-A breakfast and that'd be the only thing that I would be willing to get but of course it's closed on Sundays. I have Zara with me. Mila did not want to come which is, <laughs> she's getting in that era like not preteen era but the era where she don't want to go everywhere I go. Like. Did you get me a biscuit, Mama? Maybe yes, the breakfast comes with the biscuit. Okay, I'm gonna do apple pay. She, she didn't have breakfast, baby. She's not even awake yet. Oh hell. Sorry, one second. It appears to be all awesome. There we go. That hurts because it's pierced? Yes. It didn't hurt at first, but she lost the transfer, so she had to pierce it again. Oh, yeah. So maybe it won't hurt that bad if you go to a good piercer. Have <laughs> my smiley here. Oh, I feel like if you can do a smiley, you could do this. Thank Bye. Who's well, we asking if my nose piercing hurt? Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna do some real big back activity and get two of these coffees because they don't actually put them in a large cup. This is like equivalent to like a medium size cup. Anywho, um, I think today we're supposed to be going like hiking or going on a trail with my sister. We definitely like third wheeled ourselves into these plans because I overheard my sister talking about it I think and she was saying that she was gonna go hiking I'm like I want to go the weather is finally getting nice I don't know if it'll stay nice I know y'all are shaking all the place yeah y'all are coming um, also y'all are like really close but this is the same distance away that my old camera was so y'all can kind of see I definitely need the wide angle but like I said we're just gonna take it day by day step by step but yeah so we're gonna go hiking with my sister we are impeding upon her plans with her friend and we're gonna go you wanna go hiking? Yeah, but I'm gonna go. It's just a trail. We just walk on a trail. So we're gonna go do that. I'm really excited to be outside and just into the nice weather. I'm a summer baby, so y'all already know I come alive I like in the, the summertime. I, I don't know if it's the woods. Maybe there are some trees, but it's not really the real woods. I thrive in the summertime. I'm sure a lot of us do, but I'm a summer baby. I know you're not gonna just block the lane. I know you won't do this. Like, let's use our brains here. You're not a summer baby, but you do like the summertime. You were born in the winter. You were born in December. No. Yeah, you were. When's your birthday? December 11. So you were born in December. Why you had me first? I didn't have you first. I had Mila first. We've been over this. She sometimes gets confused because her birthday comes before Mila's in the month. Y'all are so close. Oh my god. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this footage. It's so close. I just realized like exactly how close it is. For now, our plan is to chill, eat breakfast. I think I'm gonna watch church. And then after I watch church, probably get them dressed because I think we're supposed to leave around 11. So anyway, that's the tea for today. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <sighs> All right, Bear, let's get out of the car.
work and I'm home a little early today because there was really nobody I'm not gonna say there was nobody at the office but nobody who like affects my work day and I did the work that I could do without the people there so I ended up coming home a little early I'm kind of in the mood to make my March vision board I have opted to make monthly vision boards I'm not gonna hold y'all I did not get around to making one for February I feel like I blinked and February was old, uh, over I'm gonna put y'all over here hopefully my little pillow can hold y'all um but yeah i feel like i blinked and february was over so i didn't get a chance not my oh my god my arm oh my god oh my god what shirt did i have on today <gasps> my elbows have been this ashy all day how i literally put on oil i think y'all my oh and i literally had on a short sleeve shirt all day oh bitch <laughs> oh well good thing wasn't nobody there to see these ashy ass elbows anywho yeah i didn't get around to making one for february is what i'm saying so i have to pull up my papers i wrote down my annual goals let me back up a little bit because the skin ain't skinny like it how it should be i don't got no makeup on so that hopefully we can get the skin together by the summer because baby she's the furthest thing from together but anyway um I wrote down my annual goals at the beginning of the year because I knew that I wanted to have a reference point for them but I didn't want to make a vision board for the whole year so I made a vision board for January I feel like I showed it to you guys where's my phone where's my phone might be in here okay yeah it's still my uh, uh. my January vision board is still my background but baby we've got to get with the times so here's what it is let me clear up my notification so you guys can see this is my vision board there we go this is my vision board that i made for january i really want to go ahead and make another one for march march has already started today's the fourth right march fourth yeah but we're still very young into the month so i feel like we can go ahead and do this together and maybe if you guys want to do it too then y'all can like do it with me or just maybe get ideas from what i do so you guys you guys are probably gonna think I'm, I'm insane i basically took i'm not gonna show you guys everything i basically took my annual goals and flushed out my january goals basically start laying the groundwork for my annual goals so i can feel like i got to my yearly annual goals gradually and not like i made these goals didn't look at the vision board all year and then november come around and i'm trying to change my life in a month for january i can share a few things and then i might share some of my annual goals i really am a private person y'all y'all probably know maybe 30 percent of what happens in my life and that's how we'll keep that so for this i wrote down all of the holidays and birthdays in the month because i also use this to transfer into my planner because my planner also has a page where you can flush out all your goals and everything for the month so and i feel like this worked well for me in january i didn't hit everything necessarily but i feel like i felt better about the month so a couple of goals for me were to do my skincare routine every morning and night i did pretty good i'm not gonna lie i definitely fell off towards the end of the month for sure to start planning the day the next day at night instead of trying to do it the same day because what i would do is i would get to work and try to write in my planner for the things that i need to do for the day and as far as like in my personal life outside of work when really i would prefer to plan it the day before so that i don't start off the day already feeling behind i can just open my planner and see what i need to get done for the day um i wanted to establish a posting schedule for youtube and i think also tiktok that did not happen that didn't happen in january or february so maybe march will be the month third time's a charm or so they say and then establish simple and realistic morning and night routines i feel like i have done really good with that i definitely need to be a little bit more strict with my night routine because the girls be staying up way past their bedtime on some nights and it just be because i'm tired and i think they know that so i really need to start their night routines earlier because some nights they go to bed like an hour after bedtime and that's insane january was all about setting routines i feel like we have a pretty solid morning and night routine way better than what we had i have times in my head of what time we need to leave the house i have alarms set i have my alarm scheduled i have focus mode set on my phone for bedtime for myself so i'm not like 
scrolling into oblivion which i still be doing sometimes i'm not gonna lie but i'm getting better i'm getting better and that's what it's about gradual improvement so anywho um i don't have one of these for february because like i said february basically didn't happen like i blinked and it was over so <sighs> i don't even know can y'all even see me i feel like i'm like pointing y'all up at the sky okay so i'll share a few of my annual goals but not all of them um let's see what i want to share i'll share some of my intentions not my specific goals with you guys um so a couple of things that i wanted to implement into this year especially with me wanting to be more consistent with content creating is to take your time quality over quantity specifically obviously with youtube whenever i haven't been posting consistently i will try to hurry up and make content just to post it and it won't be things that i'm necessarily proud of like i have vlogs to this day that i don't feel the most proud of or i don't feel like were the best vlogs and it's a fine line between post your content and also don't rush your content you know what i mean because yes you don't want to sit on things forever and ever and ever and then just never post it because you just nitpick every little thing but i guess it's finding balance for myself personally so that i feel like i am on a consistent schedule but i'm also not rushing myself so i'm trying to find a cadence that works for me and my different seasons of life and i know that it will change and it will ebb and it will flow so right now my consistency or my my schedule is not really set in stone but i'm gonna start trying to implement one video a week um i haven't been doing that i've really been posting every two weeks since my last two vlogs just because that's what i can maintain as of right as for right now um but my goal is to get to like one time a week and just let that kind of be the threshold of what i can maintain and then anything else on top of that is extra the next like intention i wrote for myself kind of goes hand in hand with that it's focus on consistency not speed so again that speaks to like youtube and me posting but also like in me finding healthier habits all the way around not just losing weight but just like healthier sleeping habits healthier like technology habits just healthier habits overall and building up to living a healthier lifestyle and I feel like sometimes I personally will not see change in a short amount of time. So then I just will stop. So that's kind of where that, I guess, intention came from. Oh, okay. And the last intention that I think I feel comfortable sharing is to journal more. I, for some reason, got out of journaling a few years back and I have not been able to get back into it. I literally have my journal on my nightstand and it is decor at this point. And it sounds so crazy because I'm a writer girl. Like... My dad is a writer and I take after him a lot. Like he writes down every thought. Like that's why these are written down and not like on some cute little aesthetic iPad template or something. Like I am a writer. I need to write down my grocery list. I need to write down my goals. I need to write down my budget. I need to write down any thoughts in my head, content ideas. They all get written down on pen and paper. So the fact <laughs> that I won't just take the time to journal is crazy. So that's definitely something that I'm going to bring to the forefront this month because I need to start that sooner than later. It goes hand in hand with me going to therapy. I just really need to. And I just convince myself sometimes that I don't be having time to do certain things. And it's like, you do. Take them 30 minutes that you be scrolling on TikTok and writing your journal. So also, I just really want to have like a handwritten snapshot of the time that I'm in so that I can look back on it and read over it and just be able to actually see the things that I was wanting, going through, manifesting, praying for, asking God for, and to kind of see how my life progresses over time. I think that'll be so cool to be able to have and look back on and be like, oh my God, like I remember when I was going through that. I remember when I was praying for that. And now look at me now type of thing. So, so anywho, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go on Pinterest and grab some pictures that i feel like resonate with my goals well let me backtrack i'm gonna write down my specific goals for um march kind of like how i did for january write down any holidays or any birthdays that i need to know about or remember and then i will go in and pick pictures in pinterest and then we'll come back and we'll make our little board together on canva i'll make it back
Okay, y'all, so I've picked all my pictures for my little vibe mood board for March. I decided March is going to be a pink month, so hopefully you guys can see this. Um, if not, then I'll, I don't know, I'll show you guys a better way in a minute. But I've picked all my pictures from Pinterest. I made my goals, and each picture represents a different goal for March. So I'm just going to um, start dumping them in to Canva. And I just do the vertical format, obviously, so it can fit my phone background. Um, and now I'm going to go through. Now they'll all be, like, available for me to choose from. So from this point, all I do is play with it and kind of get it to how I want it and position things size-wise, how I want them, what I like the best, all of that. So I'm probably going to start with this picture because this really inspired the entire board. I follow her. Um, I think her name is Samantha. Pretty sure I follow her and I followed her for years. I love her style. I just, she just dresses so cute, so clean, and I love the way that she puts her looks together. So I thought this would be a vibe, might even recreate this look, who knows. But this definitely set the tone for the board, so I'm going to probably put her on here first she's been on several of my like vision boards and mood boards i don't know if that's weird or not but she has been so yeah i just kind of start adding stuff i'll probably end up just doing a screen recording of it so you guys can see better but yeah i'll probably go ahead and do a screen recording so you guys can see how i do it so can i say hi in a minute bear go play so i have her on my screen already and then I just kind of add them as I see fit. I always have like a busy thing going on. This is really cute to go underneath another picture or like kind of stick out from another picture. So I just play around with all of the sizes and stuff. And yeah, yeah, girl. Um, this one's cute. And all of these actually represent things, so they're not just like random things. I think this would be cute towards the middle, just so I could see it and remember and be inspired. This will probably go closer to the bottom corner, like that. And then, obviously, how to put a camera on there. This is not the camera that I have, but it's the only, like, cute, aesthetic pink one that was on there. So, I kind of start to, like, to overlap that. <clears throat> so, I want to kind of overlap that one. Because I don't really need that real big. That's just a cutesy little reminder. You know, you get the vibes. I don't know why I'm talking out through, like, y'all don't know how to make a, <laughs> a vision board. I definitely wanted to add some scriptures on here I think I have another one but I really like this one it says I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received be completely humble and gentle be patient bearing with one another in love I love that so this will probably go up here actually I want to crop this it's a lot of extra space how do you crop this maybe not maybe I won't be cropping it maybe I'll just kind of slide it there we go. Yeah, kind of some like it. Yeah, something like that. 
Okay, y'all, I'm pretty sure I finished. I think it looks really cute. I can see everything on here. So we're gonna really quickly go over what each thing is, what each thing means to me. And I want y'all to do this too. If you're not into making a whole vision board for the whole year or if that just is overwhelming to you, even if this is overwhelming to you, just pick like four pictures that represent some of the goals that you wanna work on this month. And I guarantee you, you'll be motivated to see it every day because I'm gonna make this my lock screen. It's cute, it's aesthetic. I do think this one's a little bit too big, so I might figure out how to adjust that one. So in the upper, what is this, left corner, we have a Bible verse, I already read it to you guys. This just goes hand in hand with me wanting to get back into do my daily devotionals. I've really fallen off really, really bad with getting up early, doing my devotionals. I tried to do them in the evening, but I just feel like I need that word in the morning. So that is going hand in hand with the other picture, the Holy Bible picture. It's just cute, but also like, bro, you need to get back on the wagon. So. In the middle at the top, it's just a very cute, girly, aesthetic nightstand. I want to add more decor to my nightstand. That's not one of my goals, but just something that I want to do. Just get more little cute tchotchkes. I really like them. I find joy in them, and I just think it looks really cute. Right here is some drinks because I really want to take myself out more and go out more with my friends and really just, you know go outside not outside outside but talk at the point like go out live life stop being a little hermit crab because i'm really a loner at heart as you guys can probably tell so that's what that means but it also includes like i said dating myself taking myself out to dinner not always waiting for someone to be available or someone to want to go with me um and then in the middle it signifies i want to take a trip a road trip it we can go anywhere i thought that was really pretty and it fit the vibe but that signifies like we're going to go on some type of trip even if it's just a i don't know austin houston galveston i need to get outside of dallas okay over here you already know the vibes very pink very girly very cute i just think she's really cute and i really like this outfit and i'm in my pink era like i was in it heavy last year i don't know if you guys remember around valentine's day into the spring I've been kind of in and out of it and I never really got out of it if I'm gonna be just keep it real so we're back in our pink era I thought this outfit was really cute to recreate very spring very cute and then I always have some kind of like trendier saying and this one says girl just gorgeous girls don't quit on their on their dreams and I thought that was cute it is very corny but it's cute and it's pink we have a camera for obvious reasons getting on my consistency train posting at least once a week on youtube i'm already not starting off on the best foot but that's what i'm working toward so it won't be overnight but i'm gonna try to get a little stash of content so that i can reach that goal and then down here i want to read at least one book a month i know that i can read more but right now i haven't been reading at all and i have a brand new book that i bought i think in january that i haven't even touched so we're gonna start with that one over there so i thought that was a really good goal for me and i also wanted to reduce like my and my kids screen times so back when we lived in our apartment we had reading i don't i had a cute name for it but basically reading time where everyone would go get their books find a cozy spot get a blanket get a snack and read your book for however long so we would all do that and i think we're gonna get back to that so that will help us all kind of reduce screen time oh this also this beach picture also signifies us getting outside more and seeing more sunsets because the way that i used to take pictures of the sunset we were outside so much last year um especially in the spring and the summer taking walks you already know so i really want to get back to that as well and then the last thing is just a lot of money because who don't want money and realistically it's about yes making or not making more money i mean i guess i would like to make more money for sure but like making more money from my side hustles that i have going on and also working on saving more aggressively for the things that i want so that's pretty much my march vision board i'm gonna go ahead and download it um and set it as my background like i said y'all i encourage y'all to do the same thing and just make small goals for yourself you don't have to do anything crazy do small make small goals that would make a difference in how you feel on your day to day that's how i like to start and work my way from there so 
yeah y'all it's about six o'clock i'm about to go ahead and start figuring out what the girls are gonna have for dinner so cute oh my god it's so freaking cute just pulled up to Trader Joe's because you already know yesterday we made our little vision board for the month and I really want to start off the month with flowers so thankfully I work really close to um, a lot of the good stores that I like to go to like Trader Joe's because where I live is nowhere near Trader Joe's it took me forever to find a parking spot so I have exactly an hour to get in here grab me something to eat and get back to work because I have a meeting that I actually am gonna have to be going to as soon as I get back so I actually really like this area but I am somebody who does not have good patience for like parking and baby the parking was hell thankfully I was patient and I kept circling around I told myself if I don't go find if I don't find a parking spot on this next like wrap around then I'm leaving <laughs> Because my original plan was not even to come to Trader Joe's. I was just going to get flowers at Target. But everybody knows Trader Joe's has the better flower selection. Um, I'm really wanting anything pink. You already know. I'm in my pink era. So, oh, I'm glad I have cash because I'm pretty sure Trader Joe's does not take Apple Pay. But yeah, we're going to go in really quick. It is so packed. I just knew that it's the daytime. Nobody's really going to be girl by it's just as packed as it would be on a sunday that's the thing i think that's the reason that i honestly stopped coming to trader joe's i really like it and they have a couple food items that i love but it's just always so packed over here i don't even know if i'm gonna need one of these but let's just get one in here so they have these little mixed flowers these have a little bit of pink in them Mm. Let's see what else they have over here. And your total is $21.63. Okay, I'm gonna do yes ma'am. Keep it back for these, ma'am, or yes, just with the seat? Yeah, yes, ma'am. All right, we were literally in and out. They didn't have panties. I knew knew they probably wouldn't because I just figured they wouldn't. I wonder if like some place like Sprouts or Whole Foods would have peonies because that's really what I wanted. So I just got some pink roses they look so freaking pretty um i think i might have to end up taking these into work i didn't think that through that they probably will not survive in the car because it is a little hot outside maybe if i leave the windows down i hope you guys this day is going good i'm probably going to end this vlog today tomorrow today probably probably today so that i can get it up for you guys i haven't even been editing the footage so i have no idea what kind of vlog it's about to be but yeah i was trying to vlog in the store but my camera was just the lighting was just not good um so i'm still learning all of the tips and tricks of how to like fix lighting on the fly but um yeah so we're gonna go get some sonic i really don't even want sonic food honestly so i might just get a drink there and oh there's a chick-fil-a over there so i might just get sonic drink and chick-fil-a food 
yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. There are pretty flowers. Thank you.